I think it had been a fight that fans wanted for years, but I don't think that negotiations really began until last year. Serious negotiations began until last year. And I think, you know, when two guys want to fight and are willing to make sacrifices to make that fight happen, then, you know, then you get what we saw on Saturday night. So, I mean, I, I, I'm not really dwelling on uh, the past negotiations. I wasn't in those meetings. And, you know, the bottom line is the, the fans got the fight that they wanted. And it was uh, certainly a, a historic night. It was huge. I mean, it was an event, you know. Uh, that's what Floyd Mayweather used to say about his fight. to say, this isn't a fight. This is an event. And, you know, that's what last Saturday was. It it checked every box, whether you're talking about historical significance, whether you're talking about two of the best fighters fighting, whether you're talking about boxing stars, uh, whether you're talking about the matchup, it checked every box. So, I mean, I think Saturday night was as big as it gets. I couldn't tell you um, financially, you know, how it's how it's going to do. Obviously, we're still waiting uh, to see what the pay-per-view numbers are, but there was tremendous buzz uh, during fight week leading up to the fight. And I think, you know, the crescendo was fight night. So, um, I think all in all, boxing had a great night. Well, I mean, that would be up to the fighters. And... Um, I know both of them expressed willingness to do the rematch in the post fight press conference. I think it's too soon to say anything at this point. I mean, I, I'm not done celebrating last Saturday. So um, I think it's too soon to look that far ahead and see what each guy wants to do. And uh, let's just, let's just enjoy what we saw. You know, it's up to the fighters, you know, I mean, you know, it, same as with the rematch itself. I think that if both fighters are willing to engage in a rematch, then they'll probably resolve that issue, you know, however they see best. But again, I think it's way too soon to to even speculate. No, not at all. Um, I, I don't think it has anything to do with it. I mean, this fight has been in negotiations for nearly a year. So I, it wasn't because of that fight. I think they're, you know, um, two separate things it, it completely. Uh, I think that the uh, the Tank Davis Ryan Garcia fight certainly ignited the boxing community, and you know paved the way for the boxing community to reminded the boxing community that there are big crossover bouts out there that that the sport can can create. But in terms of negotiation or end up impacting whether another fight gets made, no, uh, you know people have different uh, prerequisites and different standards for their individual list. So I think it's hard to determine uh, who's the best pound for pound fighter, especially in this age where we have so many great fighters. You have Terrence Crawford, you have Inouye, you have Canelo, you have Jamal Charlo, you have Javante Davis. Um, you know, you have a long list of, of truly great fighters, Errol Spence Jr. Um, so I, I think it, it depends on your preference, you know, but I don't have a, a qualm with this person saying that or that person saying this and, and I think it's all great. Well, the fight would be at super middleweight. Um, you know, Jermel is the super welterweight champion. So it would be two divisions. Um, Jermel is the undisputed super welterweight uh, world champion and a very big super welterweight. I mean, from super welterweight to middleweight is only six pounds. So, and then, of course, from middleweight to uh, super middleweight is... Uh, eight pounds so it's 14 pounds in total but he's not obligated to move all the way up to 168 he can he can enter the ring at 162 163 you know which would be just great for him and and he'll still be optimal uh i saw him he was here this fight weekend he looks like he's in tremendous physical condition he looks like he's in tremendous condition um he's obviously been in the gym i know canelo's been in the gym and um i think that's going to be another huge fight, another huge fight this year, and uh, and fight another one that uh, fight fans will get excited. About. Um, I, I think this has been the case actually for a long time. So, uh, I think that it's we've seen a lot of great fights under the PBC platform over the years. A lot of a lot of great fights, and I think what we're seeing this year though is a lot of great events, and um, and so. I think fight fans should be happy. We're seeing a lot of historic things uh, take place in the sport. And we're seeing that the sport can be a mainstream sport, that it doesn't have to be a niche sport, that it can cross over toward the casual fans and people who may not necessarily watch boxing all the time, but are now interested in these fights because of the magnitude of these events. So 
Um, I think it's a great time uh, for 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 boxing. It's in terms of uh, what PBC is doing. I think you know a rising tide raises all ships. So I think that it's lifting the sport of boxing, and it's great for the fighters. The fighters are out there taking risks. Uh, you know taking chances in big fights and they're getting rewarded for it. And, and, and the fans are rewarding them by showing that they, when there's a big fight, they will support it. They're supporting it. I think uh, everyone is happy. Everyone is getting what they want. Of course, we're, we're optimistic 